They say in life there's no shortcuts. Well, that's not completely true. There is the Apple Shortcuts app, and it's one of the most powerful and easy to use apps on your iPhone. I'm not sure just how many people really use it, but if you're not using it, you should be. Hi, my name is Rich. I make simple to follow videos on how to use your iPad and iPhone. I do my best to make the complicated simple. If you think that might be helpful to you, please consider subscribing. I'm really thankful to all of you who have. It's amazing how quickly this channel is growing. Today's video is all about the Shortcuts app. If you've never used this app before, don't let it scare you away. Shortcuts are an amazingly simple yet powerful way to do things on your iPhone. In today's video, I'm gonna cover how to search for and install four handy pre-made shortcuts so you don't have to cook anything up from scratch, how to create a folder and place your shortcuts into the folder, and then how to add a shortcuts widget to your home screen using the shortcuts in that folder for quick access. All right, let's get started. I think one of the reasons that people don't use shortcuts is that they seem just a little bit too complicated to use, but they're not really all that hard. And the Shortcuts app comes with a bunch of pre-made shortcuts that you can just dip into and use. And that's what we're gonna work on today. So I've got the Shortcuts app uh, on my home screen and I'm gonna open it up. And if you'll notice, we've got some different sections here. We've got all my shortcuts and I've got a bunch of them, 116. Um, and then I've got some folders that, on, that are on here. And then there's a section called App Shortcuts. And that's what we're gonna look at today. And the first thing I want you to notice is just the apps that are listed in here. Here's one for reminders. We're gonna create a quick shortcut to view today's reminders. And how you do that is you just simply tap on Reminders. And now you see the Smart Lists are already here. And if you go to Today, that would be for today's tasks, and you tap and hold, just tap on New Shortcut. And then just click Done. And now you've added that shortcut. We're going to do another one. We're going to go into the Files app. I scan a lot of documents with my iPhone and it's handy to be able to do that and you can do that with the Files app. So I'm going to tap on Files and I see that I've got a pre-made one right there called Scan Document. I'm going to tap and hold, and I'm going to tap New Shortcut, and I'm going to click Done. And I'm going to go back again. And I think I'm going to use one for my camera. So I've got a grandson, and I often want to videotape him. A lot of times by the time I open up my camera app and then scroll over and get the video part of my camera turned on uh, the, uh, the moments passed. So I'm wanting to have a quick way to just jump right into a video. So I'm gonna tap on camera and here you'll see video right there. So I'm gonna tap and hold and I'm just gonna tap new shortcut and I'm gonna click done. And just like that, we've already added uh, three shortcuts. And those shortcuts show up right over here. Here's the video, the scan files, open today in reminders. But we're going to search for one more. And this time, we're not going to use the apps. We're going to use the gallery. And Apple provides a gallery of a whole bunch of different shortcuts that do different things. And I'm going to tap on Gallery down here in the bottom right-hand corner. And I'm going to search for one. Now, I'm often out and about, and I need to look something up on the web real quickly. And it would be handy if I had a way to do that without having to scroll around and find my Safari app. And this is what I'm trying to do with this shortcut. So there's a shortcut called Search On, and I'm going to tap and put my cursor in the search field and I'm actually going to type search on and there we have it and if I tap on it and I click add shortcut and now I'm done 
and I've added that shortcut and if I go back over here to all of my shortcuts you'll see that it's right there and now all of these shortcuts are ready to go if I tap on open today in reminders it takes me to the today today list in reminders if I tap on scan files it will take me to my camera where I can scan a file if I had something to scan but I don't and the same thing for video camera and search on and search on I if I tap on that I can type in Just what I want to search for. And I click done and then it'll ask me what do I, where do I want to search and I think I'm going to use Google. And then I'll allow it to do the search. And there it pulls up the Duke NC State score just like that. So that's a handy little shortcut to have. So now we've added four new shortcuts to our shortcut list. Now we're going to create a folder to put those shortcuts in. So if you go back into the Shortcuts app, and we're going to go to where we have everything right here. I'm going to tap on this little folder icon with the plus button, and I'll call this iPhone Shortcuts. like that and I'm going to click add and now I've got a new folder down here called iPhone shortcuts but as you can see there's nothing in it and now we're going to add the four shortcuts we just created to the iPhone shortcuts folder so we'll go to all shortcuts and we'll start with search on and we're going to tap and hold and we're going to go down to where it says move and it shows the little folder icon and I'm going to put it into iPhone shortcuts and I'm going to do the same thing for video iPhone shortcuts scan file tap and hold tap on move iPhone shortcuts and then open today in reminders we'll put move and iPhone shortcuts and now when we go back to our iPhone shortcuts folder we've got those four shortcuts in there just like that and now we're almost home and now back at the home screen we'll add a shortcuts widget to the home screen and how you do that is you tap and hold and then you tap on the little plus in the top left to add a widget and I'm just gonna scroll down till I get to shortcuts and if you'll notice, this is just one square box. You've got some little dots here you can scroll over. That's two shortcuts. We have four shortcuts, so we're going to uh, tap on that one and we're going to click Add Widget. And now we have four shortcuts up there in the widget, except they're the wrong shortcuts. So how you correct that, you tap and hold, and you tap on Edit Widget and now you can choose the folder I'm going to choose iPhone shortcuts and now we've got open today and reminders scan files video and search on and that's just a really quick and easy way to add four simple useful shortcuts to your home screen you know I don't think that was all that hard once you dip your toes into shortcuts there's no going back they're just too handy to not use. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned a thing or two. Let me know in the comments below the favorite shortcuts you use. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.